Hello everyone. Upgrading firmware is a vital piece of device maintenance. Firmware upgrades can add features, fix problems, and change device behavior. We will upgrade the firmware on a DGS 1510 family switch. The upgrade procedure is the same across this entire switch family. Upgrade firmware using the web UI command line or D-Link network assistant. We'll launch our favorite browser and log on to the switch at 172.16.97.22. The username is admin, A-D-M-I-N, no password. We want to exit the wizard and we'll note the firmware version and hardware version of the 1510 switch. Presently, we're at firmware version 1.10 dot zero zero five. Our switches are physically stacked so we want to navigate to management physical stacking to see the firmware version and the hardware versions of our switches. We'll log off from the switch and navigate to support.dlink.com support.dlink.com to download the latest firmware. In the search window Type in the part number of the product. For our demonstration, it is the DGS 1510-28X. We'll click search. It will show the results. So we want to click on our product. So we'll click on the DGS 1510-28X. And once we see the results, we want to check for the correct hardware version and we want to check the correct firmware version and then we will click download to download the firmware. When the firmware is downloaded it will be in a zip format so we'll use our favorite utility to unzip the file. We'll extract the file and just make note of the directory where you store the file and the firmware. Once the firmware is downloaded and extracted, we could return to the switch interface. We'll log on to the switch, username admin, no password. We'll exit the wizard and we'll want to navigate to upgrade the firmware via HTTP. So we'll navigate to Tools, Firmware Upgrade and Backup, and Firmware Upgrade from HTTP. You can upgrade an individual switch, but it is recommended to upgrade all units or switches to the same firmware. So we'll browse and we'll locate the firmware that we downloaded. We'll pick the correct firmware upgrade file. We will need to give the destination URL or the name. For us, we'll just call it FW for firmware, UPG for upgrade, 130, and we'll click upgrade. The firmware upgrade will progress and we hope to receive the done message letting us know that the firmware upgrade is nearly complete. To complete the process, we'll navigate to Management, File System, and we'll pick each switch individually. We'll click the drive and you'll notice the Run Info. You'll notice the name FW Upgrade 130 that we downloaded. We want to use this as our boot image for our firmware. We click boot and we get the success message. We need to do the same procedure for each switch in our stack. So we'll go to switch number two, click on go, pick the name and click boot up. Let's complete the steps for the last switch in our stack. 
we'll pick unit or switch number three we'll click on go we want to make sure we pick the correct image and click boot up we receive the success message and now we're ready to complete the upgrade process we'll navigate to tools reboot and when we receive the prompt, do you want to save the settings? We'll make sure a yes is selected. And we'll click OK to reboot. Once we log back onto the switch, we expect to see the upgraded firmware 1.30.007, but not only for our primary switch, but for every switch in the stack. So we'll navigate to Management, Physical Stacking, and we see the firmware has been successfully upgraded to 1.30.007. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.com.